Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the new features and improvements in Enscape 3.1. If you followed Enscape over the years, you know that it just keeps getting better and better. And version 3.1 adds more to all the great features it already has. So this time we get a brand new material library, a renewed material editor, support for NVIDIA DLSS, a panorama gallery, simplified assets, and much more. And if you want to read up on all of these features, I'll have a link for the release notes in the description. Now, before we dive into these features, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. This helps with the growth of the channel and so that you don't miss the next time we drop a new video. So finally, we get a built-in material library. We know that material creation can be very time consuming. So having materials that are ready to use and that you can study is a great addition to the Enscape plugin. Now to access these materials, you want to click on this brand new icon. And as you can see, this is a very simple interface to sort and import materials into your scene. Now you can search materials by name if you know what you're looking for, or you can filter through the categories. And so far there are 244 materials from your typical architectural bricks concretes and metals and you will find other interesting ones such as roads ceiling tiles stones and wood so these are really catered to your typical exterior and interior projects so to import a material into your scene you need to make a selection so you can click to select different materials you can right click for more selection options so you can select all and deselect all and you also have the option to add these materials into your favorite. That way you don't have to keep sorting through the categories. So I'm going to select this material. And as you can see, I can now import this into my scene. And once that's done, you should be ready to apply this with the paint bucket tool. You can also find this material in your SketchUp material library as well as in your Enscape material editor. So let's try out some of these materials. So I'm going to add a couple more into the scene just to see how they look. Now, I want to take a second to appreciate the effort that was put into creating these materials. You can see that from the diffuse map all the way to the displacement, that these materials are very high in quality. And as a pro tip, you can study how these materials were made so that eventually you can create your own collection. Now that we are in the material editor, you can see that it's been renewed to be a little more fluid in comparison to version 3. Now visually, you can tell how much better this new editor is. For example, you can import material straight from the material library as well as importing your own saved materials. So let's suppose you want to use one of these materials in another project. You can right click, export that material to a location, which you can then import back into any project. As for the materials on your list, you can export to save the material package or import to replace. So if I select import, select another material, you are then replacing the old material with this new selection. Next, we got some visual improvements. For example, the different material presets are now represented with a small icon based on its material type. If you look at the list, carpet is represented by a small carpet icon, clear coat is represented by a car, foliage is represented by a leaf, and grass is represented by the grass blades. And you will also find these icons beside the material name on your list, which is very convenient for just knowing the type of material that it is. And if you look closer at the color of these icons, you will notice that it matches the albedo color on your material settings. Next, we have a brand new material type for self-illuminated materials. And I believe this was just a parameter in the previous version. So it's good to see it has a brand new material. 
Now for the most part, editing materials has not changed that much. You can still adjust the sliders to increase and decrease values and load your textures the same way. But beside each texture slot, you will now have a small thumbnail of that map and you can click on it to make minor adjustments inside your material editor. Next, we got some hardware improvements. Enscape now supports NVIDIA DLSS, which stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Now, if you have an RTX graphics card, this is an optimal setting that you want to have on. So according to the blog post, this means that Enscape will render internally at a low resolution, but output a clean and sharp high resolution image for both high quality videos and high performance walkthroughs. Likewise, with video export, Enscape is going to decrease the render time and increase the video quality. Now, to enable all of this, you want to go to your general settings and you want to make sure NVIDIA DLSS is checked. You can also check the denoiser and the ray trace sun shadows. As for the sun shadows, this is another huge improvement. If you go to your atmosphere settings, Turn the shadow sharpness close to 100% and you will notice that the shadow quality has improved. Now I'm glad that they've addressed this because the better the shadows, the more realistic details you will get out of your renderings. So next we have some brand new assets. If you look in your assets library, scroll down to the new category, you'll notice that you have over 60 new low poly assets. Now these are simplified assets that will come in handy during early design concepts or that you can use as placeholders in your model. And last but certainly not least, you can create panorama gallery as a way to showcase your design. So there is now a way to manage all of your panorama images inside your Enscape account and you can create a grouped gallery and share it through the web with your clients. So I encourage that you read the Enscape blog post for the full step-by-step -step tutorial. Now I'm very excited about this update, especially for the material library. We know that we will get brand new materials with future updates. So this is something new to look forward to. And I'm glad that these updates are not just to improve the user experience, but also the client interaction. As always, be sure to check out the Enscape YouTube channel and their website for more information. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment sections what you think of the brand new material library and what you think Enscape will add next. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.